I added all 26 letters from alphabet lore into Minecraft. First, I made A, and I used an axolotl to make A because A starts with axolotl. Wait, no, it's the other way around. I'm not going to lie, my A looked kind of ugly, so because of that, I added some grill lines on his teeth to really give it detail. And because he is A, I decided to spawn him on an acacia tree. Now you might be thinking I should have put him in the water, but I'm sure he'll be fine. Next I made B, and I made B from a B because, well, you know. Everything about him was looking pretty good, but then I realized B has these eyes that are really annoying to make. So I gave him these messed up eyes, and I also got rid of the grill lines. I don't know why I did that in the first place. B is supposed to be a butterfly, so we'll pretend his wings are flapping because I don't know how to do that. Also, here is a B army chasing me because I didn't subscribe before 500k. Next, I'll be making both C and D. For C, I used a creeper, and C is kind of curved, so I spent 5 minutes trying to perfectly rotate these pieces. I then added his teeth and gave him these angry looking eyes and finally added some noise because noise makes everything better. Next for D I used a dolphin and I copied this piece with a squished dolphin's face on it until I had the shape of a D. Huh? I then gave him a sideways mouth and added his eyes which make him look like he has 159 children in his basement. I then put C in the C even though C doesn't start with C because C and C are both pronounced C so it makes sense. And then I put D in the C as well because he's a dolphin. Now all either of them have to worry about is pirates and drowning because apparently C can't breathe underwater. The next letter is E, and for E I used the only logical mob, the Ender Dragon. I had to delete his entire body until I was left with half of his head, and then I turned his head into the shape of an E and finally added some teeth and his eyes right above that. I don't know how you would be able to kill the Ender Dragon now that you can barely see it, but that's not my problem. Well actually it kinda is. Next I made F, and F is a bad guy so I made him a frog because these are the only two mobs that start with F. I gave F these really ugly teeth that look nothing like the original and then I decided to get fancy and rotate his eyes. Since F attacks everybody, we'll pretend that this slime is E and he is being eaten by F. We'll also make F kidnap D because why not? Next I made G, and I won't lie, I already made G before, so I decided to copy paste him onto a ghast. For some reason G is really big and also flies around which is probably not accurate. Also in the intro, F runs over G, so I tried to make that in the best way I possibly could. But then he shot fireballs at me, so I gave up. Next I'm going to make H and I. For H I used a horse, and he was quite easy to make. I added his eyes and his curved mouth, and then I was done. For I, I used an iron golem, and I decided to make him from a single leg. It turns out that I is also easy to make. All I really had to do was add his eyes and his tiny smile. I put H in a house, and I even rode him, which made me technically flying because H is a ghost. Then I put horse armor on H, just to see how it would look. Let's just get rid of this. Next I spawned I in an igloo because what better place for an iron golem to live. I also thought he looked really funny when he walked because he's just a leg. The next letters are J and K, and as it turns out, there are no mobs that start with J or K, so I decided to use mobs that might sound like they do. For J, I used a giant, which could be spelt with a J if you're in kindergarten and don't know letters yet. J looks really sus, and I think it's even worse that I decided to make him really big. You also can't really do anything except hit him, so let's move on. For K, I used a cow, and I literally just spelt it wrong in my script, so this fits perfectly. I added this thing on top of its head and gave it some eyes in this bug mouth thing. I then decided to put K with B because they are both bugs. Also putting them together stands for Burger King. The next letter is LMNOP. Did anyone else used to think that was one big letter? Anyways, there's only one mob that starts with L and that's the llama. Spit. Llama spit. I made L out of llama spit, which apparently counts as a mob. I then spawned a llama in the game and made it spit on me. I don't know what I was expecting from this, but this definitely wasn't it. For M, I decided to use a minecart, which also isn't a mob. I only used the front part to make him and spent too much time trying to rotate these pieces. I then added his eyes and his squiggly mouth and spawned M in a mineshaft. He doesn't really do much on his own, but you can kind of use him as a car. A very slow car, of course. There are no mm. mobs that start with N, so instead I decided to make him from the nether. I don't really know what my plan was, and I ended up just putting a picture of N on top of netherrack. At least now when I enter the nether, it looks a lot worse. He also could possibly be the new Netflix logo. This is actually just a cover-up for the fact that I forgot to make N when I was making the other letters. For O, there is only one mob that I can use, which is the Ocelot. O was annoying to make because O is a circle and Minecraft isn't known for its circles. But once I was done the circle, all I had to do was add his eye. After that, I decided to spawn O in Ohio. No, seriously, I don't know how this map even ended up on my PC. I even used H and I to spell out Ohio and then exited the world, trapping them in Ohio forever. 
For P, I decided to use a phantom. I've also already made P before, so I just copy pasted her onto a phantom. Since P is a superhero, seeing her fly actually makes sense. But she is still very annoying like a regular phantom. Seriously, stop hitting me, the clip is over. Next, I made Q, and nothing starts with Q, so I used a turtle. I added his big mouth, the little spots on his body, and finally I added his eyes. I spawned Q on the beach, and he was really slow, just like he should be. So I spawned an army of Qs, and then I gave them all slowness, and they literally couldn't even move. Is this mean? I don't know. Next I made R, and I made him from a Ravager. I used the Ravager's head as a body, and I gave him his eye, and finally I added his mouth. When I saw him in game, I realized I added too much noise, and he looks like concrete Bruh. powder. Also, for some reason, R randomly has the ability to fly. Wait, no, that's just E pushing him. The next letters are S and T, and for S, I decided to use a snow golem. At this point, I was getting really lazy, so instead of making a 3D mob, I just drew S on top of a plane, and that was it. S is a snake, so I put him in the sand, but then I realized that's not exactly where snow golems go. So I put S in the snow instead, and then I made him have a snowball fight with me. I also spawned an army of them and made them fight a bunch of zombies and they lost. Really badly. For T, I used my favorite mob, a trident. I don't know how a trident counts as a mob, but it's already in the shape of a T, so this was pretty easy to make. Now I look really cool when I'm using Riptide, and I can also use T to strike lightning. But that's basically it. As it turns out, making a custom trident is kind of boring. Next, I decided to make U, and nothing starts with U, so I decided to make him from U, like U is in the viewer. I'm just kidding, I actually used a goat. I rotated these two corner pieces, which ended up looking really bad, and then I gave him his eyes and his mouth. After making U, I also add all the letters to spell my favorite word. Oh wait, I spelled it wrong. Next, I made V, and V is a villager. Once again, I decided to only use a leg to make him, and at first I made a U because I forgot how letters work. I then rotated the two sides and gave him a couple eyes and a tiny mouth. His mouth didn't really look right, but at this point I didn't care, so I spawned V in a village, and there were arms above his head, which I also didn't feel like fixing. The final four letters are W, X, Y, and Z. And for W, I decided to use the warden. I'm sorry, Wither. I don't understand why I have such a hard time rotating these pieces, but it ended up like this, and this is the best it's gonna get. I then added four of the exact same eyes to W and then made a very complicated mouth to put on each side. I would rate W as 0 out of 10 in terms of design, but she looks really funny coming out of the ground. I can even spam Ws in the chat and then get chased by all of them. Please help. There are no mobs that start with X, so I used the honorable mention from W, the Wither. I shaped him into an X, which was easy, and then I added these purple things on each side. Next, I drew all the details on his face, and then I added these things behind him. Since X is a ninja, I decided to fight him in hand-to-hand -hand combat to see who would win. But X decided to cheat and shoot a bunch of Wither heads at me instead, causing me to resort to ancient fighting tactics to secure the victory. I made Y out of a wolf because I, I don't know anymore, I just picked something random. I rotated these two pieces to make the shape of a Y, and then I gave her two eyes which blend in perfectly with her body and gave her a mouth that looks like it's from an emoji. I don't really know what I'm doing anymore so enjoy this video of me taming a bunch of Ys. The final letter is Z and somehow there is actually a mob that starts with Z, a zombie. So I made Z from a zombie head instead which apparently counts as a mob. Since Z is a planet, I am demonstrating that by standing on top of Z. I even tried to spawn every letter on top of him which didn't work at all. If the creator of alphabet lore is watching this, I'm sorry.